Michael Astorga is back in court waiting to hear if he will be put to death for killing a sheriff's deputy. The sentencing phase of the now infamous murder case got underway today in Santa Fe. News 13's Alex Tomlin was in the courtroom and is live in the newsplex now. Diane, the first group of potential jurors have already been questioned, and more than 3,000 people were sent the questionnaires to see if they could be fair in this case. Astorga murdered James McGrain Jr. during a 2006 traffic stop, making him eligible for the death penalty. Because the state repealed the death penalty in 2009, Astorga has to have a second sentencing trial with a separate jury to decide his fate. It'll take weeks for both sides to decide on a jury, and this morning, defense attorney Gary Mitchell made it clear he already has concerns about who may be trying to get on that jury. He showed the court a blog posted on another media site where someone has posted how to fool attorneys and claim to be impartial in the hopes of getting on a jury and, quote, send him to the gallows. Whenever you can have a small group of people who so hate other people that they can go out and tell people how to get on a jury so they can go kill somebody, there's something totally un-American about that and insane about it. I wasn't aware of it, and I can see why he would be very concerned with it. I think that the process um, and the individual dire, we're going to be able to get all that information out. It's not just this blog that's causing controversy. There's also a disagreement about who Gary Mitchell may want to testify in this case. I have more on that coming up tonight at 10. Diane? If Astorga is not sentenced to death, he does still face life in prison.